we, we have a huge debate in Norway about nuclear. I just saw that Japan is maybe trying to to get nuclear up and running again. Do you have an estimate for nuclear 20 years ahead? Because it's it's a, quite a complicated topic, but yes. people I trust say it's, it's just too expensive. So if you don't need it, don't build it. But then it doesn't matter. Area. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Everyone is switching to nu nuclear right now. Several other countries that do not have a nuclear are going for nuclear. So this is going to happen despite the cost, despite everything else. And the reason why, because again, back to COP28 and the change in the narrative, we have a realization right now that solar and wind are not going to do it. And we have, we already have seen the cost of offshore wind going through the roof. Aside from the fact that several environmental groups are fighting them. So going back to nuclear is really the way to go despite the, the, the initial cost. That's one. Of course, the technology improved substantially over the last 30 years. So what we are going to have is a completely different story. Uh, and at the same time, we have to realize that once you have nuclear, and this is, this is what the main lesson out of the war in Ukraine, it is a domestic source. Yes, you, for some countries, they need to import uranium or enrich uranium. But here is an irony for your listeners. Despite the war in Ukraine, despite the sanctions on Russia, the EU and the Biden administration imports enriched uranium from Putin until today. And the question is, why Putin did not cut them off? and how he is getting paid. So the idea here is those who are afraid of nuclear, et cetera, et cetera, uh, this is a done deal right now. We are going nuclear. Many other countries, especially in the Middle East, are going to go nuclear. Of course, we are talking about uh, uh, nuclear for power generation here. So we are going to see that, the, uh, this trend because that's the only way we can fill the gap while we are achieving some of the climate goals. And let's remember one more time that Germany got rid of the nuclear not because nuclear is bad. They got rid of nuclear because of their agreement with Putin for Nord Stream 2. 